Today I want to talk about the various terms people use for the penis. Circumcised, uncircumcised, cut, uncut, intact, whole, all of these things. So people always argue about what the proper terms are, and I think this really does a disservice to the movement in derailing conversations. I've heard people try to correct the term people use for it, even when their comment was very pro-foreskin. And I think we need to not focus so much on that. Now, I know many people are going to argue one way or the other, and that doesn't really matter. But the thing is that the term intact is a, is a new word that the intactivist movement came up with uh, to use for a penis with foreskin. However, I think any of us should be able to use the term that is most familiar or comfortable to us and to the people that we are talking to and not be criticized for that. So, being in the medical field and studying uh, medical records and reading through patient histories as I have done as part of my training and, and schooling uh, in college. The terms that are used are circumcised and uncircumcised. This is the medical terminology regardless of whether people want to argue that or not. That is the term that medical professionals use. Uh, the term intact while it may describe a penis that is whole and entire, it's not the medical terminology. Um, creating a new word does not make everyone else wrong for using the established terminology. People try to say that by saying uncircumcised, we are calling the circumcised the, the norm. But that's not really the case because when we use the word not or un, I mean, people can take it in a positive or a negative. Like if we say we escaped something unscathed, unmolested, unafraid, that's not saying that we should be afraid or we should be this or we are this. It's, it's, it's established vocabulary that is acceptable to use. So when, when we say that, like if I say I am uncircumcised, that means I am not circumcised. No penis, no knife has cut off any part of my penis. And I can say that. Now, if people want to say uh, cut and uncut, those are more slang terms, but they basically uh, denote the same thing as circumcised and uncircumcised. If I'm talking to uh, a medical professional and I want to put in my chart that I want to make sure my foreskin stays right where it is <laughs> or, or something like that. If I say intact, they're not going to know what I'm talking about. You need to say, I am uncircumcised so that they understand what you mean. Um, in gay circles, everybody knows what cut or uncut means. If I said I was intact, people would be like, huh? What does that mean? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, carry the same weight of the established terminology that people use. And, and I, I don't think that using the terms uncut or uncircumcised, it doesn't take away from the fact that the norm should be the penis whole and entire. Those terms have been used, I mean, you look at English translations of the Bible from 500 years ago, they use the term uncircumcised or circumcised. They don't say intact or whole. It's the established terminology. And it was used by a culture that was not circumcised. So like English translations of the Bible, whether it be the King James or even before that, the Dewey Reams Bible, both of those translations say uncircumcised, and those were used by non-Jewish people who uh, were living in England, France, in the 15 and 1600s. 
they were not circumcised, nor was circumcision the norm to them. You know, this was before the, the newfangled craze that arose with the Victorian era where non-Jews started thinking uh, circumcision was healthy or would prevent masturbation or all the reasons that the Victorians tried to give to, to promote it when it first started gaining popularity again, um, unfortunately, you know, back in the 1800s. But way before this, non-circumcising cultures were using the term uncircumcised. It was not to denigrate or to say that circumcision was the norm whatsoever. It's just an adjective. You know, it described the penis. You know, it's just using one word instead of saying penis with foreskin. Um, everybody knows what uncircumcised or uncut means. If you say intact, people don't know what that means. So I disagree with uh, people that argue so much about that terminology um, because you can make a positive argument for each of those terms. And also when someone is speaking positively about not being circumcised and they proudly say, I am uncircumcised or I'm uncut, that's not the time to pile on them and tell them, well, the proper term is intact. No, no. I will continue to use all three terms interchangeably, intact, uncircumcised, uncut. They're all terms that can be used. They all, you know, give that positive thought, like when I hear uncut or uncircumcised, I think of a penis with, covered with foreskin. That's what comes to mind. And that's what it means. And that's all it means. So let's not go too far to the other extreme and read malintent in uh, every person who uses that term. I use that my, my term, that term myself, and I am as pro foreskin as you can possibly be. So let's, you know, let's, let's use all those terms, you know, depending on, you know, the situation and circumstances, you know, let, let's use those terms. Uh, medical people, uncircumcised is what they're gonna, you know, is what they're gonna notice, you know, um, is what there is what they know. That's that is the technical medical term. So, you know, that's that's how I approach promoting the foreskin, promoting having a whole penis. And as you know, I'm as proud as can be of it. And I'll probably say I'm uncircumcised. You know, hey, I'll even say, yeah, proud owner of an anteater right here. You know, it's like those terms, you know, I'm not insulted because I'm proud of what I have. And if people want to use those terms, then, you know, oh, well. Um, so let's let's not get too tied up in knots like that. I mean, I, I once had a nickname, a uh, hoodie. And that, that nickname hoodie referred to the fact that I had a hood on my penis, you know, and I wasn't upset about it. In fact, I, I kind of liked that, that nickname. I was kind of proud of having that nickname because it, when someone said hoodie, it meant they knew I had foreskin. So I was happy about that. So let's think of things in those terms. Have a great night.